Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. For millions of years, a small body of water known as Lake Willens has lurked hundreds of meters below Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf, sealed off from the outside world. And by proxy, the scientists who have always wanted to explore the subglacial depths. Lee, why, why are you talking in an accent? Oh, because I know how this works, Elliot. Like, I've seen enough discovery in National Geographic to know that things are more important through poignant accents. Especially things about the Earth. Like, I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna talk like this as they're gonna scan over beautiful terrain of the depths of the oceans and terrains and then depths of the ocean. Fair enough. But for the first time ever, a team of researchers from Montana State University have bored a tunnel into Lake Willens and encountered life. Encountered life? Making this team the first people in history to discover living organisms in the alien lakes at the bottom of the world. Untapped, new life, alien lakes, discovery. Are you, you're gonna do that the whole time? Uh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just really trying to emphasize what's important. Oh, okay. Uh, now, the reason the term alien lake was used is because these small body of subglacial lakes, like Lake Willens, are thought to harbor conditions similar to those of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. Those conditions being vitality-crushing levels of pressure, minimal nutrients, non-existent sunlight, and isolation from the rest of the world for millions of years. Now, it appears the lake definitely harbors life, not like Loch Ness life, but like ecosystem and active microbiology life. Now, this is very exciting when thinking about... I'm drop it for a second because okay. I'm tired. Yeah, sure. It is very exciting when thinking about what kind of organisms can survive the horrible environment and if we could learn about and adapt similar ways to do the same. Now the team will be sequencing the DNA of the life unearthed in the alien lake. The life unearthed in an alien lake. I can't, I can't help it. And with that information we can only hope to have further information about the possible similar biology to extraterrestrial life. Not to mention since photosynthesis isn't possible without sunlight, how did this bacteria get their energy? Elliot, this discovery could teach us how to live without sun, or how to live on Jupiter. Wow, uh, things really do sound way cooler with an accent. Right? Jupiter stuff, living without the sun? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I just meant the way you said my name. Elio. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Gon go film the internet. The so guys, what do you hope they find in the alien lake? Anything in the world, and don't say deep sea hydrothermal vents and gold mines, okay? And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click the annotation for more stories. I'm Elliot Morgan. And I'm, I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm, I'm Elliot Morgan.